hey guys, so I'm showing you my turn to the power team. So let me look up the characters I'll add. So first team member is Goku. Goku. Vachita. Goku Vachita. Goku Vachita. Piccolo. Stupid thing. Stupid phone line. The Cheetah, Piccolo, Gohan, and Goten and Trunks. Plus, I'm not going to add crew into it and 18 to it because they're going to have good fighters. So, I will include Skinny Majin Buu. Skinny Majin Buu because pretty much he was supposed to be used, but instead it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be great. Like, this should have been good. So, since that that's done, I would add also another Android. They also forgot one more android they had on Earth. Aider, for keep sakes. I know what you're thinking. Why, why Aider? Well, if you think about it, Aider's an android, so he could probably take a lot more hits. He probably, like, took a lot more. He's probably trained. Heck, I bet he's probably human. So I bet he trained to probably protect his village. And Aider's there. Plus, I would add, also, 16. Because 16 is good. Because one, adding Frieza is just stupid. Because we all know Frieza is going to do something stupid by wishing for something evil. Like becoming the Omni King, which is Android 18, 16. And also, Android 18, 16. Android 18, 16. Android 16. Also, I would add someone shocking. I would add two more fighters. Nappa and Raditz post training in hell. So here's my opinion. If you're wondering why add Nappa and Raditz? Well, let's be simple here. Nappa and Raditz must have been training in hell since that they're like Saiyans and ya ya ya, stupid stuff like that. Anyway, let's say Nappa unlocks Super Saiyan 3 while Raditz unlocks Super Saiyan 2. Anyway, Nappa and Raditz seem to be a close level, but Nappa is stronger for, you know, reasons unknown. Plus, here's how I think the tournament would go, and Super Saiyan 2 Rats, here it is, here's my team. So, here's where I think the tournament should go. First off, it's not that stupid one at every fire because it's a mess, like Nappa Rant said. Anyways, the reason is the freaking tournament has a thousand, like a lot crap ton of people fighting at the same time. I wouldn't allow all that. I'd say two at a time. So, if any of your allies are hurt, you don't have to break the rules. You can just, since the Goku and his friends have sensu beans, one of them can get out of the ring and give them a, sorry, give them a bloody sensu bean. Sorry, my nose is stuck. Give them a bloody sense of me after they get back on, st on the stage. Like, that way, all of these fighters would be good. Like, I would change everything. Plus, since that I would change stuff, I would let the cheetah have his tail. Since that the cheetah's elite fighter, he would actually have his tail. And I would not allow, I would allow rats and after their tail to be able to control their great forms as well, because but Cheetah, I see the Cheetah and Nappa, I mean Rats and Nappa given sunglasses like so they won't get turned into a grape and break the stage because break the seat stages. That's, let's be real here. Oh crap, not this. Anyways, I'm saying is it's best to like, you know, not deal with the soul pole, you know, great ape thing with three great apes. Because it's better for Cheetah becoming great and when Nappa and Rats get in the ring, but Cheetah will turn back into the base and I well, before fighting Jiren, because pretty much every fighter will do the fusion dance, plus Goten, Trunks, Rats, and Nappa will be tar tar transforming to Great Apes, so, well, not really, but, you know. So I'm thinking of a fusion where Rats and Nappa learn the fusion dance and hell from seeing Goten and Trunks do the fusion dance during the Boo Saga. So, so, they become Nats, a non-camp fusion, but anyway, I'm just making this canon in my version, so Nats and whatever this version, right? 
they technically fuse into a strong warrior, which would increase their power, become a Super Saiyan Blade 3. Plus, sorry, video, my mistake. I'm not trying to get a video on. Sorry, stupid thing, I was trying. Okay, where was, oh yes. That would also increase the strength after they the fusion, they have to look at the full moon. They would be a bloody golden Super Saiyan 3 ape. Plus, it'll probably boost their strengths like 3,010 times, or if my math is right. Tell me how strong it would be in the comments below. Anyways, I would change it and also have my reasons. Plus, I would not allow Rebrianna and her stupid friends to fight. So, in the honor of Napa Rams and Reddits, I would let them go Ozaru before Vegeta, because Vegeta's keeping it in secret, because I want them to stay in the backseat for a surprise, and smack them with their tail off the ring, and bam, Universe 2 is gone. No one wants to deal with that crap. You guys have to agree, right? Heck, I would allow Nappa and Raditz to go Super Saiyan 4 if you want me to. If you want me to add that concept to the tournament power, you know. Plus, they will get rid of all the fighters that are weak and get back, you know, let Vegeta and Goku all the other fighters fight the strong fighters like the Punchers. I'll have every team at the end of the tournament where there's two, five, two teams, right? Five members, or wait, ten, wait, I forget. Anyways, the fusion rears off for Nappa and Raditz, and they get sent to me from, from Krill, from like, you know, from like, the, from like Piccolo. Because Piccolo got it from Earth and stuff like that. Anyways, I would also allow androids in this tournament, because reasons unknown, Aider doesn't need energy. Plus, in a sense, it means that he has infinite energy. Since I put Aider on the level, I put him under like, you know, 16 level, because 16's got an iron boost ever since he was brought back. So I think since that Bulma recreated him, yeah, that's right. I'm making it like, so he's a part of Castle, or he doesn't have to kill Goku thing, my thing in his head. Like Team Four Star proves it. Anyway, <laughs> I like to say that after, you know, Nappa and Rise get their energy back from a Sensu Bean, there's two androids. And plus, Aider and 16 do the fusion dance when fighting with Pride Troopers. Now it's three fusion warriors. Goten, I mean Gotenks, Nats, and um, what else? Uh, one, Android 168, is that what they call it? Eh, I forget. Tell me the name in the description below. Some of you may hate it, but let's be real. The fusion dance is, is not gonna break the rules. Patar is. So, anyways, I would like to add like some other stuff, like change the rules. Plus, don't add that stupid Patar fusion because I don't like the idea of adding Patar fusion to a freaking tournament. Pretty much it's pretty Lewis. So pretty much their few all three fusion warriors are fighting the pride troopers that are like lower, like the midget pride trooper or whatever. Like all these guys, like yeah, these guys. The tournament power, these guys, the few fusions gonna take down some of these guys while the other guys, Piccolo, Gohan, are gonna take down the other two the other guys while not while Goku, the cheetah, fight Durin and Topo. Now you're wondering why I did this. You see, I left Vegeta and Goku to fight the last strongest guys to show that Dragon Ball Z feel. The best feel everyone's ever liked. Like, think of it. Goku and Vegeta, while letting their friends and allies fight, like Nappa and Rides of Fusion, right? They wait to fight Jiren and Topo, and when Jiren and Topo are finally holding ready to fight, Machia turns Ozaru with Nappa Rad's camp because they're probably out of energy to do it or something like that. I don't know, Dragon Ball Logic. Tell me about me to let them turn Great Ape or not. In the comments below, please and thank you. Anyways, I will let Machia turn Super Saiyan Blue Ozaru while Goku surprise everyone and say, Let me show you what. Well, before this, when they're ha Goku's having trouble with Super Saiyan Blue Kyle Ken. And Vegeta's well not Ozaru yet, yeah, but you know, in Super Saiyan Blue, Vegeta's taking on top of like it's nothing. Well, Goku's having trouble with Jiren, so what does Vegeta do? 
he lets Goku, he gives Goku some, he gets, while well, Goku breaks out of his shell, Vegeta goes Super Saiyan Blue Ozaru. That's right. That's right. And it shocks everyone, including Nappa Reds, who's also given Ozaru. But somehow we're able to, like, you know, able to go beyond their strength. And Goku shocked as well, but Goku shocks a cheetah with Ultra Instinct. And he says, this is what happens when I break my limits. <laughs> like, that would make more sense. Like, it last time, when we were like, like, you know, showing like how he broke his limits, he broke his limits. That was stupid when he didn't know what Ultra Instinct was. But this time he knows what it is. And Beerus is impressed with Goku. Plus, Beerus respects him. So, Jiren, top, Jiren and Toppo are going to go 100%, and the cheetah is going to take on Toppo and destroy him without any trouble. Plus, Toppo seems to be in danger, so Toppo unlocks a trump card, which is freaking Hakai energy. And then after that, somehow, Toppo and the cheetah are at the same level again. Or probably not, I don't know. I forget sometimes, but anyway. While Goku Ultra Instinct is fighting Jiren, Vegeta and top Great Ape Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta is st stronger than Toppo because Toppo's new to Hakai energy. In fact, I bet he's probably not used to it. So, while Jiren and Toppo are taking on these freaking fools, Jiren and Toppo are, are about to lose, Goku and Vegeta both use their strongest attacks. Goku uses an Ultra Instinct Kamehameha, a Super Kamehameha, while Vegeta uses a Super Saiyan Blue Ozaru Gallic Gun. The blasts are so powerful that Jiren and Tabo can't handle it. That, they were able to hold on so long. So after that, they were pushed off the ring and every private trooper was defeated by Nabo Riots, Gotenks, wait, Goten Trunks, Aider, Aider is 16, and, hang on, 18, and the others, <clears throat> why am I forgetting? Anyways, they all are defeated, and Universe 7 wins. And you know what's the best part? At the end of this tournament, Goku, which is back, Universe 10. Because pretty much Universe 10 was a better universe. So hey guys, I hope you liked my tournament power team and how it should have ended and stuff whatnot. Please like and subscribe. No hate. Don't tell me what shit fix or not. Tell me if you want me to add some. Tell me if you want me to add stuff to add some stuff to it or not. Like and subscribe.